Let's turn now to the tropics where we are keeping an eye on a now category five Hurricane Lee. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees standing by. Brittany, what's the latest developments? Yeah, Kaylin, so peaking at a Category 5 hurricane, currently a Category 3 there with winds sustained of 115 miles per hour, which still keeps it at a major hurricane. Lee continuing to kind of just turn there just to the north and east there of Puerto Rico. Now, this storm is likely going to kind of shift back and forth in intensity over the next few days due to a multitude of factors. But the most important thing I think that we can continue to hone in on here in the Carolinas is that there is no forecast model that has it coming here. I know we were getting some questions uh, social media. I, we had someone messaged Brad earlier this week saying my neighbor said that it was coming right here. I'm concerned. There is no current forecast model that shows a Carolina impact or a direct landfall, I should say. And you could actually see with the latest tracks that we've really had over the past 24 hours, starting to see that turn to the north. So we're going to take a closer look at why that turn to the north is expected. So steering currents drive hurricanes. They take the path of least resistance. So you have a strong high, a strong low. They're going to kind of sandwich themselves in between. Between. So the current pattern still remains for a strong trough across the eastern half of the United States. That means a cold front, which is actually likely going to bring us some fabulous weather next weekend, and then a high pressure system there in the eastern Atlantic. So the most likely scenario still right now is that Lee will kind of take that trek to the north and eventually in the north and east. Now, a lesser scenario is a weaker ridge that keeps it completely offshore. There have been some trends a little bit further west. So folks, especially uh, in the northeastern half of Canada, I know watching this very closely. But an immediate kind of shove all the way toward the west still remains very unlikely toward the Carolinas. Now, New England states, a little bit different concern as there have been a kind of consistent shift of models a few uh, miles to the west here over the past 24 hours. Now, again, none of those have it coming here to the Carolinas, but you can kind of see that shift there. So if you have friends in uh, New York, New Jersey, Maine, folks in the New England states, I know they are continuing to keep a very close eye on Lee. Now, we know here in the Carolinas, Carolinas, a direct landfall, and truthfully, it doesn't matter if you live along the immediate coast or maybe you have friends, family, property there, has any close proximity, especially of a large hurricane like Lee, regardless of strength, will impact the immediate coastline. So what's the most likely impact in the Carolinas? beach erosion, coastal issues, as we are going to start to see that increased rip current risk really as early as Sunday night and into Monday, and this will likely stay high through the entirety of next week. So again, you got friends, family there. Make sure they're aware of this rip current risk because that's really likely going to be the biggest impact here in the Carolinas. You could trust the WCNC Charlotte weather team every step of the way, and we will certainly let you know if there are any major changes with the storm.